Hey guys, welcome back to Geek Out, and um, yeah, it's the review day, part two of the Warbatron Bruticus. It is day six. Yep, four more days till Christmas. Ooh, I am excited, especially me, because I am very excited for what I got. Also, I want you, I want to know in the comments of my most popular video. If you watch this. Comment down below in my most popular video, which is Combaticons Combined into Bruticus, because it's the only one I know with comments turned on, um, if I should buy the NECA Shin Godzilla or the NECA 1962 Godzilla. So, Godzilla vs. King Kong or Shin Godzilla? Tell me. Anyway, let's, uh, let's get started with this review. First of all... I already transformed this in my second attempt to do this, and I spent 38 minutes on the last attempt, and it was just garbage. Took three try, like it would be three videos. So here we go. Since these characters are so big, I'm going have to turn this around, and now we're reviewing in front of my face, my beautiful, beautiful face. First of all, we're gonna do blast off. Ah, oh, sorry, my eye itches. So blast off here looks really good. I am digging the way he looks with all of his paint and everything, like, oh man, and he has, like, barely any bat kibble, like, I don't call that bad bat kibble, because it's flat, it's, like, tucked in really well, it's not bad, like, Jinbao, you did a really good job doing this, so, good job, <laughs> um, light piping on this guy sucks, just gonna say that. Uh, otherwise, he's a super great figure. Um, so yeah, his articulation-wise, he can look up a little bit. Down, none. He has a little bit of head tilt. Swivel. Arm can move out about that much. Bicep swivel. Arm turns about 90 degrees. Uh, no ab crunch, but a waist swivel. You can kick forward about... You have to pull up his crotch flap. Kick forward about that much. Oh, these ratchet joints are tight. Beautiful spread. Bicep swivel. Uh, pretty good knee bend. Um, and his feet are kind of weird. They're kind of just like there. They're wobbly. His heels can move. Yeah, we don't really talk about the feet. Um, so yeah, that is uh, that figure. Uh, also, all these guys' wrists can do this. Like a... Marvel Legend, but they cannot do this, but they can, like, open their fingers like this. So, yeah, let's move on to, uh, Swindle, maybe? Alright. Uh, first of all, Swindle's really cool. He looks amazing. Bat Kibble, I also think, doesn't look great at all. It's very messy. Or not very messy, but it's very big. But it's tidied up. It looks messy, but then you see it's, like, perfectly symmetrical. And I don't mind it. I mean, I think it looks pretty kind of cool, actually. But, um, he looks really good. Tell me that's not a swindle face. He has that smirk on him. That looks awesome. Light piping also sucks on him. That's okay. Um, <clears throat> another thing is that he can not move his feet down. Barely at all. I say that. That's a problem with him. His feet cannot move down, but they can move up. That's for sure. So if you need any figure moving with feet, they can move up. This is, this is your figure. Um... Articulation-wise, he can move his arm about that much. Obviously, 360, that's with all of them. Bicep swivel. Uh, I got to turn his arm around, but, uh, ouch. Same with the wrists. I just can't take them out because they're super tight. That's another problem. He can look up a lot. He cannot look down. Swivel. Uh, tilt. Uh, no bicep, or no, uh, ab crunch. But, uh, waist swivel. And kick forward about ugh, that much is about as far as he can kick forward. It's not that great at all. But he can kick back a lot. Uh, no, he can't. Uh, never mind. I thought he would. He cannot kick back a lot either. Uh, his bicep swivel. His knees can go all the way in because it's part of his transformation. So I'm not going to really show that off too much. Like I said, his feet can move all the way up. Cannot move down. And he has some uh, ankle pivot. It's pretty good. Also, he has a little bit of tar articulation. So, yeah. Pretty cool. Uh, let's move on. 
Well, let's go with maybe Brawl. I'm, I like Brawl. He's one of my favorites. First of all, I'm going to say this. I love the shade of green they chose. This is the Jinbao Oversize, so I believe it's slightly different shades than the normal one. Uh, the reason I got Oversize is because I, I want it to fit with my Masterpiece Transformers, which I will show them off compared to my MP10 here in a second. No back kibble. That is one of the great things about these figures, that their back kibble is either really, like, it, it can be pretty big, kind of like Swindle, but tidied up really well, or it's not there. There's no back kibble on this guy. This is not back kibble. This is accurate. So, yeah, I really like that. Also, I really like how big his chest is. Looks really menacing, but anyway, he can look up a lot. Can't look down. So about the head, tilt. Arm, alright, so here's a problem. You don't want to do this. I, you'll scratch up your fingers. I have scratched it up a little bit, moving its arm up. You'll scratch up the head because it touches it, so just a warning. Bicep swivel, uh, obviously, ratchet going, so I'm going to do a 360. Arms move just under 90 degrees. That really, that really annoys me. None of these have a up crunch, so I'm going to stop saying that because it's kind of getting annoying saying. No bicep swivel, or, hold on, I think I put this on wrong. I've done this so many times, did I really put this on wrong? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. This is weird. Alright, whatever. I think we're all good. Anyway, I don't have the weapons with these guys. So, um, this was before I start, started keeping my boxes, and, um, you see me, like, do that a bit, it's because I have, a uh, my nose is kind of sore on it, it's just like, you know. Um, uh, so this is before I kept my boxes, and, uh, my Mimi, I had the box, I was going to keep the box because it looked awesome, and I brought the box so I could hold it with my Menasaur and this, and I had the guns in it. My Mimi didn't think I wanted the box. So, she threw it away. Luckily, I had my Minasaur out. Or he would have been thrown away, too. But, uh, yeah. That was, uh, not good. Anyway. Yeah, Mimi, I know you're watching this video, probably. You remember that. I know you did. Because I came back upstairs and the box was gone. You were the only one home. You're the only one that could have done it. My Mimi watches my videos, so... She must confess under the comments, if there is comments, unless they're turned off. But obviously, as you can see, fingers will move, swivel. Uh, you can kick forward pretty well. Back, none because of his tank thing. Thigh, or thigh swivel. Obviously, his knees can bend all the way up. I'm not going to show that, obviously. Good ankle pivot. It's not like the way they did it, I really like. It's pretty cool. Um, he cannot move his feet up, but he can move them down. Of course, it's the complete opposite of Swindle. Um, yeah, he looks really good. The painting on this dude looks fantastic. I'm going to immediately say that. Looks really great. Let's move on to my personal favorite of the Combaticons. Vortex. Just like Brawl, he has absolutely no back kibble. There's no back kibble on this dude. You may think, well, what's this, what's this? I took the propellers out because they fall out. One problem with it. This is accurate. It's supposed to be there. He's supposed to have these on his back. W what are you going to do about it? It's accurate. There's absolutely no back kibble on him. And it looks fantastic. I look like I have a baby face. I don't, though. It's just the lighting, I swear. Anyway, waist swivel, as you can tell. Arms move out, bend, bicep swivel, right there, and right there. Obviously do a 360. Uh, hands are the same. No ab crunch. To move, you have to move these flaps up to kick really far. And to kick back. He also kicks back really far. If you don't know who Kickback is, he's a Transformer, and he is cool. He's an Insecticon. Anyway, good knee bend. 
thigh swivel. Beautiful thing. Um, swivel at the ankle. Uh, cannot have, move his ankles up, but he can move them down. Uh, he can turn them, so ankle pivot. He can do the same with the back side. So I thought that was cool. Look at the head sculpt on this boy. That looks amazing. The light piping is amazing. Look at that. That is what I call vortex. This is just fantastic looking. Um, let's move on to the leader. Onslaught. Onslaught. That is such a cool name. Onslaught. I like that name. Essentially no light piping. Barely at least. As you can tell. Uh, one problem is he does have a little bit of back cable. Not super bad, but you can see Bruticus's head. Problem. Um, let's, uh, first of all, his paint looks really good. He's huge. He's pretty heavy, too. I think Brawl's the heaviest, though. Strength, but true. Maybe. I don't know. Let's get on with the articulation, shall we? I'm just pulling that out a little. Well, obviously, head can look super far up. Nothing he can now look down. Uh, tilt. A little bit tilt uh, side to side uh, can do a 360 biceps uh, um, elbow bend he has a, actually double jointed elbows which is different pretty good uh, hands are the same waist swivel <clears throat> you can kick forward pretty far and without the other uh, little crotch piece because it I lost it. I don't know how it happened. It just kind of fell off someday and never found it So yeah Kick back super far uh, Bicep swivel Not a beautiful spread at all uh, Not even a 90 degree knee bend um, Cannot move his ankles up unless you flap these out then he can but, uh, that's just so you can hide his feet. Uh, a little bit of ankle pivot on each side. Can move down. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love the purple on here. I think it, like, really contrasts with the rest. Looks really good. Well, that's the end of this. I, um, t I'm tired. Not because I've been up so long, but it's because... I just got up. <laughs> so, if you, if you weren't watching me through my uh, living room window, which I, you probably weren't, I hope, then you would know that I, uh, then you wouldn't know. Um, I was actually watching, I watched three movies last night, three two hour, two and a half hour long movies. I watched Shin Godzilla. First of all, great movie. Check it out. I loved it. I watched uh, Fifth Element. Uh, I watched King, uh, King Kong Skull Island. Then I watched a little bit of the uh, Godzilla anime. I didn't really like it. I don't know. Wasn't that great? But uh, yeah, I thought that I wouldn't be super tired when I woke up. I ended up sleeping in till eleven, which I'm surprised I didn't sleep until one. But um, still. Oh, okay. Never mind. So I do have one of their weapons, blast offs. I am super glad. This isn't his main weapon, I don't think. But this is one of his weapons. I'm so glad that I kept this weapon because it was part of his uh, transformation mode. But you'll pull it apart, and then there's these little slots. You know. Pull those slots out. Boom! Cannons! So cool! Also, you can use Vortex's, like, propeller blades as swords, but that's not that cool looking. And then you can get the handle out of this guy. So, yeah. Not the craziest, but pretty cool. Um, oh yeah, I said I would do a size comparison. So, here is I MP10 Optimus Prime compared to the Combaticons. 
Heck yeah. Love me the Combaticons. Uh, Alright. So, if any of you personally, like any viewers, know Mitch Santona, which I highly doubt, but if you do, I'd graciously, greatly appreciate it if you tell him to make another video because it's been two years and two years was too long. So yeah. There are the Combaticons. Super awesome looking. Heck yeah. Optimus Prime in the back. That looks really cool. Actually, that is a very sick looking thumbnail. If I can get a thumbnail, I don't know how to do them. I'll learn. Maybe this will be the thumbnail. Or not. Who really knows? That looks sick though. So, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. There goes Blast Off when I was fixing Onslaught's arm. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Kind of long, but uh, not as long as I thought it'd be. I'll uh, see you guys later.